So what are the best ways to make money on YouTube with a gaming channel this year? YouTube's had some major changes that are affecting people's revenue, but the good news is in this video, I'm gonna show you five ways to make $1,000 or more per month with a gaming channel on YouTube. Stay tuned. G'day, my name's Marcus. I'm a video game and YouTube enthusiast. I'm also YouTube certified, and this channel is all about helping you grow your gaming channel on YouTube. We upload every Saturday, so feel free to subscribe if you want to grow a gaming channel. But basically, today we're gonna to be talking about how to make money on YouTube. And I think making money on YouTube is very, very important because without having a sustainable channel and a sustainable income, I think pretty much every channel is going to end up dying at some stage. You need to have a sustainable channel, have a sustainable source of income, even though YouTube's not about money. Like, at the end of the day, it's about reaching out to to people and impacting people's lives and having a good time but you really need to actually be making some money because you're not going to be able to support your channel if you want to grow it out further because YouTube does take a lot of time it's a lot of hard work and if you have to be working a dozen side jobs and studying for a job and all this kind of stuff while running your channel it's going to be growing much much slower than it could be so making money YouTube's not just about money but making money is very very important now YouTube is constantly updating their monetization policies and maybe you're not even monetized as it is right now because last year they changed it so you needed 4,000 hours of watch time to actually monetize, to actually put ads and start making money from your videos. But the good news is I'm gonna be showing you five ways and only one of them involves actually monetizing your channel. So really, this is gonna be pretty exciting. So let's jump over to the whiteboard and get right into this video. So the first way to make money on YouTube is with YouTube ads. So we just talked about that, that's no brainer. And for those of you who don't know, YouTube ads are the videos that show up before your um, videos that will basically um, the advertisers will pay to put advertisements in front of your video, then YouTube will take a cut of that and then they'll give you um, a cut as well. So that's how you make money. And it's quite, quite simple, but the problem is you need 4,000 hours of watch time to actually monetize. Now, in the scheme of things, this is not a big deal. I mean, it seems really bad and it seems uh, like YouTube are discriminating smaller creators, but at the end of the day, YouTube ads are not a great way to make money. YouTube ads, I kind of consider them as a tip jar um, because they're so unreliable, they go up and down, they fluctuate, they are completely um, up to YouTube and their policies. So just treat YouTube ads as a tip jar and try and focus on these other four strategies I'm gonna talk about. And we're gonna work our way up from, um, the, I suppose, the mo more common ones to the most exciting ones. But I did promise how to make $1,000 with five, in five different methods. So how to make $1,000 with YouTube ads. I mean, it's gonna sound really obvious, but you really just need to get more views. Um, you need to get more views, when you get more views, you're gonna start making more money. Now there is one other way to do this and to improve the amount of money you make per thousand views you get. So the way you make money with YouTube ads or the way they um, record it or track it is with what we call CPM. So CPM is how much money you get per thousand views. So if you get, so if you have a C, so if you have a CPM of uh, 0.7, which is probably what most people have um, with gaming channels or what most of the gaming channels I've seen have, then for every thousand views you get, you're going to get 70, you're gonna get 70 cents, so that's a terrible error. But yeah, for every thousand views you get, you're gonna get 70 cents. So as you can see, this is really not a great way to make money. Now CPM is not normally this bad for most YouTube creators, but unfortunately because there are so many creators in the gaming niche, um, CPM is quite low because there's a lot of supply and not very much demand. Now you can optimize your CPM by having uh, videos that are shown in countries that are more first world. So obviously in a third world country where they have a, like in a really third world country where people are dying of starvation and all this kind of stuff, these horrible things, um, it's there's not many people going to be uh, watching YouTube and buying stuff um, from YouTube or people advertising from those countries on YouTube just because it's not really a priority and it's not something that's actually viable for them. Um, so that's why targeting your um, audience or targeting people in first world countries, so like Australia, um, America, United Kingdom, et cetera, et cetera, we're not trying to be racist or exclude people here, but from a business point of view that they're gonna have higher CPMs and you're gonna start getting more money per thousand views. Um, to check your CPM uh, for each country, you can just go into your YouTube analytics and go to monetization. And I believe that will show you a list of all the countries and the countries that are currently giving you the highest CPM. Next, we're going to talk about crowdfunding. So crowdfunding is basically uh, where your audience are willing to or are happy to support you via um, a certain program or certain sites in which they can donate to you or subscribe to like a month, monthly reoccurring um, subscription which will automatically pay you every month 
or it, sometimes uh, with Patreon and stuff, you can actually even set it up so they pay you every time you release a piece of content. Um, so the way you're going to want to go about this for most channels is with a site called Patreon. So you have Super Chats, you have PayPal, you have um, channel memberships, but to actually get them verified on your YouTube account, you're going to need a fair amount of subscribers. And I'm considering most of you watching this don't have a massive subscriber base. So Patreon's probably going to be your way to go. Um, with Patreon, you sign up, it's completely free, and they're going to give you a an account where you can, and when you promote the account on your channel, uh, you can send viewers basically across to your Patreon. So let's say you have a Patreon account and you have an offer um, of $1 and you get a thousand people to sign up for the offer. So you have a thousand viewers who sign up to pay you $1 per month. You're gonna be getting a thousand dollars per month. And the best thing about this is you're gonna be getting it reoccurring. So it's not like a one-off payment. You're gonna be getting a thousand dollars every single month, month from these people. And this doesn't seem like a lot. And you might be thinking getting a thousand people on Patreon, is gonna be extremely difficult. And yes, I completely agree. But if you have say, 100 people on your channel and say 10% of them, 10 people decide to donate $10. That's $100 extra per month. Can you imagine how much that will build, build up to and how much of a difference and what gear you can get for that money? In the scheme of things, it's not a lot, but everything will build up and it all really helps. And you can see how even with a really small audience, like 100 people, and you get 10 people to donate $10 per month to you on Patreon, it can start making a massive, massive difference. Next is what we call YouTube merch, or not what we call YouTube merch, but um, basically, I don't know why that went down there, but basically uh, you can sell stuff related to your YouTube channel through sites. Uh, and generally the stuff is mm, like hoodies, t-shirts, hats, uh, water bottles, all that kind of good stuff that well, it's gonna be kind of related to your channel or your niche. And a lot of people generally just put their logo on like a t-shirt or on a hat or a hoodie and sell it to their audience. Now that's a definitely a viable way to go and there are a ton of free programs and free uh, websites out there that you can actually create stores on and do this and promote that link or you can actually um, create a store with Teespring and actually link it to your YouTube account and the products will show up at the bottom of your videos if you have a certain amount of subscribers. But the problem that a lot of people, that I see a lot of people doing is that they create content specifically related to their channel. So if you have a gaming channel called, I don't know, Fluffy Clouds, and you just create a t-shirt with Fluffy Clouds written on it, I mean, only people who watch your channel or are hardcore fans of your channel are going to be interested in buying that t-shirt. However, if you create, if your Fluffy Clouds channel makes Minecraft videos, if you create a shirt that is going to be, the people who play Minecraft are going to be interested in, then people who are specifically interested in Minecraft might buy your shirt even though they don't like your channel. So maybe they watched one video from your channel and weren't a massive fan or didn't really click with you, but they saw the shirt and they really, really liked it. And because it wasn't specific for your channel, it was more specific for Minecraft fans in general, they bought the shirt and everyone was happy. Next, we have affiliate marketing. And affiliate marketing basically is where you have a, or a company has a product, right? And you sell that product and you get a commission. So let's say they have a product right here, this fabulous red box, and they offer you 20% commissions. And this product is, uh, let's say it's 20 bucks, right? So what that means is that for every time, every time one of your viewers buys this product, you're gonna get a 20% commission and 20% of 20 bucks, is four bucks, right? So you're gonna get $4 every time they buy this product. Now you might be thinking, well, that's not great. I mean, they got 20 bucks and that's true, but you have to admit that they're doing all the work here. They have set up the website, they've set up the product, they've done the advertising, they've done all the work and all you have to do is promote them a little bit and anyone who buys their product using your link will give you a commission. In this case, it's a $4 commission. Now there's plenty of affiliate sites out there, but the best one has to be Amazon affiliate marketing because there's there's such a massive range of products you can find on Amazon. Um, doesn't matter what niche you're in, what content you're producing, I guarantee you, you will find something on Amazon that you can sell that is kind of related to that. So you can type up Amazon affiliate program and you can go onto their website and sign up there and you can join the affiliate program and start looking for products that you can sell. And you can literally sell any product on Amazon and get a commission from it. So next is drop shipping. Now drop shipping is probably the most powerful and I'm gonna try and draw it out just so it makes a little bit of sense. So we're over here 
in this box and this box are our suppliers and pretty much every shop works like this and pretty much every supplier comes from China. I mean, the shirt you're wearing right now, the jumper or whatever it is, look on the back, it probably says made in China. Um, basically, we these shops will buy like Nike, Adidas, whatever, they'll buy products from China, then they'll order, then they'll warehouse them in their warehouses and they'll ship them out to their stores and sell them to their customers at a higher price. So let's say we're buying, I don't know, let's whatever this is, a ball. We're buying balls for $1 from these Chinese suppliers. They will purchase the balls, um, warehouse them in their uh, warehouses. I'm sure that's what a warehouse looks like. Let's give it some windows. Yep, lovely warehouse. And then they will sell it to the customer for, I don't know, let's say 20 bucks. And it's really hard to draw with a mouse, so I apologize if you can't read or see whatever's going on. So we go to our supplier, goes to our warehouse or our shop, and then we sell to our customer. And that's all well and good, but the problem is you need to actually order inventory in advance, and you need to have money to actually do that. Then you need to warehouse this ball in your actual shop, which means you need to have some kind of shop or warehousing or space, or like even if you do have space, you actually have to manage this, and that can be quite a lot of work. And then your customer, you have to send it to your customer or your customer actually comes and buys it directly from you. And considering uh, at the moment you, we're just talking about YouTube, I mean, you do probably don't really want people coming to your house to buy uh, whatever it is you're drop shipping. So drop shipping is we pretty much bypass this and we go straight from the supplier to the customer. So from the supplier, we go directly to customer. Now dropshipping is super, super powerful. And the reason is because we have our customer over here, right? And instead of having to warehouse the items and buy stuff in advance, what we do is we wait for our, oh, that should be supplier. We wait for our customer to actually make a purchase. And this will generally be via some online site or something. So we don't have to actually warehouse anything. So we wait for them to make a purchase. And then we tell our suppliers, and our suppliers will send the product directly to our customers. So that way we cut out the middleman. There's no warehouse needed in here and you make a profit from whatever you're selling. And generally it's a much larger profit than an affiliate marketer would. Now you might be thinking, well, how do I set up a store? I mean, this, I, this it's gonna be super complicated. It's really not. There's simple sites out there like Shopify and WooCommerce and whatever, literally like 20, 30 bucks a month and you can host a store and sell items through that. Now you may be wondering about the supplier. How do I find a supplier? Now there's awesome sites online called AliExpress and Alibaba and just type in dropshipping sites and you'll probably find a whole ton more and they have thousands and thousands and thousands of products that you can sell to your customers at very, very cheap prices. Like we're talking a couple of bucks for shirts, a couple of bucks for cups, a couple of bucks for all these kind of things, things that you can sell for like 20, 30, $40 and things that you can make like a 19, 29, $39 profit on. Now dropshipping is not going to be easy. It's not one of these things you can set up in a day. This is pretty much a business. You pretty much set up a business. And the awesome thing is it doesn't rely on YouTube. As you can see, obviously your customers are currently coming from YouTube, but if you find a great product and YouTube's not doing so well, you can actually start selling your products to random people on the internet who aren't even fans of yours. And you can do this by reaching out to people on social media, you can do this by paying for advertisements on Facebook or YouTube, and any of this kind of stuff. Now this is, I'm not pretending this is easy, but if this is something you want to do, it is definitely worthwhile. And I know people who are literally making millions of dollars through this. So those are the five things you want to look at if you wanna make $1,000 on YouTube in a month. You wanna look at ad revenue, crowdfunding, affiliate marketing, merch, and dropshipping. All five of these can definitely make you $1,000 on YouTube in a month. But the last three, selling your own merch, affiliate marketing, and dropshipping are generally the ones you want to start looking at because they don't really rely solely on YouTube. They are almost like a separate stream of income that just involve your YouTube channel. And that means that if your YouTube channel isn't doing so well, or YouTube isn't doing so well, or the algorithm suddenly decides it hates you, you can still be making a living through your dropshipping, your affiliate marketing, your merch, or whatever it is. So I hope this video helped you out. I hope it inspired you. I hope one of these things I was talking about kind of jumped out to you and you decided to take action. You're gonna take action at the end of this video and go out and start setting up one of these things and making money. So all of these things, they're quite common. They're quite well known. 
Um, you can research them and there are plenty of people who are going to teach you exactly how to use them. Or if there's something specific you want to learn, do, feel free to comment down below and I'll try and make a tutorial on it. When I was first starting, I had no idea about pretty much all of these things except for like YouTube ads. If you have any friends who are interested in making more money on YouTube, feel free to share this video with them because maybe it'll help them and inspire them as well.